I knew he'd have information about him eventually. Oh, I see you've all chosen to stop by once again. It seems he was right after all. Who was right? Is it safe to assume that you've been left with a message for us too? Let me out! <laughs> That's right, I'm not permitted to say who from, unfortunately. Make your way to the airport, post haste. I shall await you there. That's what I was asked to tell you all. So our next destination is the airport. They must be having fun dragging us all over the place. Doesn't matter who it's from, they're gonna have to head over there, or we're gonna have to head over there to clear things up. Yeah, let's just make sure we're ready before we head out. Oh boy, that doesn't bode well. Um, all right, let's take a look and see. We have some recipes we can make. We have, oh, that's right, we got the recipe for fluffy pancakes. Want to cook with Emma because she has a winky <laughs> sure, face. I'd love to. And then somebody who has other one to try to get I the. I really hope you'll like it. Okay, we got the unique one. <laughs> sure, I'd love to. Let's see if we can I get. I really hope you'll like it. We got. Let's try two with Sharon. <laughs> I'll get right to work. Sorry, guys, for the delay with the cooking, this but you said be prepared. All right, we've got the best Please one. Do enjoy. All right, we want to make one, a bad one, with, like, Laura. I could certainly use the practice. And then we should get the weird one, hopefully. Hmm. Not bad. Nope, we got the normal one. Let's try one fluffy pancake with... B has a sad it's face. It's B's cooking power hour. B's cooking power hour. You can try okay. eating it if you want. If you want. All right, we got all the pancakes now, so now we can do four more with Emma. <laughs> sure, I'd love to. And it get looks great. If our I do really hope you'll like it. Supply of stuff. So we have five of these we can cook. We've got all of them, so we can do five with I could Laura. I use the practice. It's only the ones. I'm proud of this one that we need to get we need the unique one so we want probably <laughs> sure, the winky I'd face mm, this looks like it'll hmm i hope this turns out okay somebody's oh, got to get this looks pretty nice glistening suit sharon <laughs> i'll get right to work I'll get right to work. We've only got two more Please on this one. Do enjoy. Okay, let's, let's just give this a try. do it by ourselves and see what happens. There we go. We got onion soup. Oh no, we can make more than one onion soup. Uh, I let's try Laura again. I get venomous again. This is off putting. Off putting? It's Fee's Cooking Power Hour. Fee's Cooking Power Hour. You can try eating it. <laughs> Alright, we're back to these <laughs> sure, guys. To. So funny, Steve. I keep getting... If I, do say so uh, myself. I keep getting reminders for on my phone, for my calendar, for Maggie Monday. And Luna, too, if you're still there. And I'm just like, it's, it was supposed to be Maggie Monday. <laughs> I hope this turns out okay. <laughs> oh, this looks pretty nice. All right, it does not seem to want to give me the <laughs> special I'll one. Get right to work. Or unique one. This is some of my fire. Maybe I don't have the right people to cook it with. I'm going to do three <laughs> with sure, Emma and to. we'll try it again another time. It looks great if I do. And we have hot tea. Oh my goodness. Well, we have all the hot teas, so I can cook as many as I can make. Oh, we don't have the special one yet. Or not the special. We don't have the winky face yet. How did we not get a winky face on the tea? I think that was Sharon's recipe, wasn't it? I'll get right to work. Oh no, I think that was the lady in Nord. This is some of my finest culinary ways. Please. Do enjoy. Okay. 
Potato croquettes. We have all of those. We can make eight. And we've got a crown, so we'll do it's this. With V's cooking power hour. With V's cooking power hour. And then than we're done after that. Yay, it's ready. All right. Excellent. Save. All right. I do think I have one errand I want to run before I go to the airport. Um, and I went out. I hate trying to walk around these tables. It's a pain. All right. I want to run over to the Orban store and see if I have enough Sepith to open any more slots for my stuff. Um, and that's down. Did I pass it? Tailoring? Maybe it was this one. Yes. Okay. Modify slot. Those are all done. So, reens are all finished. Now we start with Laura. Yes. Fee. Like I said, it's going to take forever to get through everybody. To get everybody's stuff unlocked. Alright. Oop. Do that one. Alright, so that's all of them. Um, I don't think we can customize. We already have Braver 2 plus 1. We already have Hyper Claw. Destructive Rod. Alright, so that's for Toval. Precision Blaster, that's for. Claire, and we still can't do more this one. Um, let's look and see. I didn't pick up any. I did pick up a little bit of Sepith Mass, not much. All right, let's see what they have to sell as far as that. Just charges. Oh, that's right, because the guy who sells the ordnance was at the top of the other store. Right, okay. So we're going to come up here, and before I get to the airport, I'm going to save again. And the airport's to the right, so let's do a quick save. Because God only knows what's going to happen to us once we get over there. I didn't check these bridges for a fishing thing. We don't normally get to go near the airport because it usually tells us you can't pass here. Going through here will take us to the airport, right? Hmm. I don't see any staff around. The precision blaster, yes. You're right. That's probably due to the flight restrictions. The gate looks to be open, just enough for us to enter, too. Should we? <laughs> Entering the airport will cause the main story to advance. As a result, all unfinished quests will disappear. Enter the airport. I mean, there was the red exclamation point at the top by the house. But I think these things are leading me to that. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. I don't know what or who will be waiting for us beyond here. Let's go. Let us see if Eusis is here or if it's just another person saying how to get to Eusis. <laughs> All right, let's look at the map. Aha, airliner. Interesting. So there's not a whole lot around the airport. Ye old airport. I'm a let's go up. Berea Hard Airport arrivals and departures. I can put on my old train voice so it doesn't give you a choice right now apparently it's just going straight to the airship well Bray Hards airports as nice as I pictured it being it's my first time visiting it as well I suppose this must be an airliner yep 
It's the kind used in the Empire. I've been aboard them a few times. I've been waiting for you. And who might you be? I was sent here to deliver a message. You see that airship right there? Make your way to the lounge on the third floor post haste is what I was told. Okay. Well, not like we have any better ideas. Let's go. Yep. All right, I just wanna look. I know it's a silly. I want to speed run out here. Okay. So it's telling us no. All right, that's fine. I'd rather check and make sure there was not like something out there. It's a trap. Yes, it's a trap. I wonder if I can go straight down here. I can. And there's nothing out here. Big surprise. I just don't like not looking. Okay, so he's gonna let us go on board the ship. All right, so we need to find the third floor lounge. It's a trap! It's a trap! I'm leaving on a jet plane. Sorry. <laughs> this airship is massive. Indeed, although it naturally couldn't co hope to compare to the courageous in terms of size. We were instructed to go to the third floor lounge, but please stay on guard. There's no telling who the person calling us is or what they have in mind. Right. That's right. It could be Rufus luring us into a trap. So this is the boarding gate and this is the bridge, probably the place we don't want to be right now. And I don't know if there's like just looking around. Because sometimes when I've been places, there's boxes you can break open and things. All right. Boarding gate. Boarding gate. Hanger. Lounge deck. Okay, it's the other direction. Lounge. I think this is the third floor lounge. Should we go straight inside? I just worry when it says. Should we prepare before we go? You certainly took your time. Aha! Uh -huh. <gasps> there he is. Eureka, yes. Eusis! Eusis! I suspected it was you. We hoped it was you. Eusis Alborea. How long did you intend to make me wait? I have wondered whether you would even bother to show up. I think that's partly your fault for making us go through all that trouble to get to you. <laughs> there are eyes everywhere in this city. It would have drawn too much attention for you to come here directly. That was just my way of looking out for you. Perhaps you could try thanking me. <sighs> <laughs> At least you're well. That's what matters. It really is great to see you again, Eusis. The same to you. I'm impressed you were able to overcome the many ordeals you've no doubt faced to make it this far. But should I be surprised, I wonder? I've always had high expectations of you. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt I would have been able to come this far if not for everyone's help, though. Still, thanks, Eusis. <laughs> this means that all of Class 7 is finally together again. Hooray! Okay, I have to pause just for one second. And I have to come over. And where's he at? He's down here, and I'm gonna move him up here by the rest of the guys. We have Eusis! Okay. Eusis is on the sidebars, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. 
Hee hee hee, this means that and all I class seven is together. Overwhelmed with joy. Yay. Congratulations, everyone. We did it. Thank you so much. <laughs> You've been a tremendous part of making this happen. Thank you, Sharon. <laughs> I haven't the foggiest idea what Sharon is doing here, but I suppose it doesn't matter right now. <laughs> Sharon's a badass. That's what Sharon's doing here. Uses? I've been kept abreast of your activities through the Noble Alliance's information network. Uh. So I'm well aware you've been fighting their forces across the land using that ash-colored knight of yours. Uh. <laughs> as well as the fact that you've chosen not to ally yourselves with the Imperial Army, but instead fight as a third faction. <sighs> oh, has word of Valimar been getting around that much? Well, I'm pretty sure it has, yeah. That said, I didn't arrange for us to meet like this just to see one another again. I'm coming with I you. I did so that I could make the difference between our respective positions crystal clear. Uh huh. What do you mean? I see. You have no intention of coming with us, do you? What? This is a joke, right? You surely saw this coming. I'm the son of one of the most influential figures in the Noble Alliance. And as I imagine you're already aware, I've been assisting him and his provincial army in fighting this war. Well, we know, but... Is this what you believe to be your duty as a noble? Meanwhile, my brother is acting as the Alliance Force's chief of staff. And as for my father... He was responsible for hiring Jaegers to attack Ymir, which is not only your home, but the home of all the kind-hearted people who welcomed me with open arms earlier in the year. <sighs> I can only apologize. No, I don't even have the right to do that much. Yet with that in mind, it should be clear that we can't go back to the way things were. I'm feeling an Emma situation happening here. I must leave. I'm, you know, all these bad things, and they're going to convince me he needs to stay. The gulf between us is simply too vast to be filled. Our paths have parted. That is reality. This can't be the only way. It doesn't have to be like this, Eusis. I will guarantee you safe passage out of the city. If you deem it necessary, I can even have you escorted out by car. However, once you're out, we can no longer... Uses. I can understand why you feel somewhat responsible for what happened in Ymir. I can understand why you, as an Alborea, feel as though certain things are inherently expected of you. Actually, I should probably tell you that Dad woke up the other day. All that's left is for him to get his stamina back now. He'll make a full recovery. That's... that's good news. I would have liked to pay him a visit myself, but... Oh, don't worry about it. I'm not telling you that to make you feel guilty. I'm telling you because I don't want that to be your reason for what you're doing. Pardon? What I want to know is what you want to do, and the path you want to take. If you want to help your family because you agree with the ideals of the Noble Alliance, I won't stop you. But if that's not what you want to do, if you're only helping because you feel like you have to for whatever reason, if you're doing it because you feel responsible for what happened to my dad, which, by the way, you aren't, or if you're doing it because, as much as you want to come with us, you feel like you don't have the right to, then you're nothing more than a coward who's running away. And I don't believe that's how a real Erebonian noble should act. Boy. They should do what they believe is right, and do it with pride. If Dad was here now, he'd say the same thing. 
Uh. Reen? That's kind of harsh. We're only students, still learning more about the world around us. Alone, we don't have the experience or knowledge to go around proposing solutions to the conflicts in this country. Not to the war going on around us, nor to the class divides that started it. But that's alone. And that's why I think we all need to come together as a class again. We're all inexperienced, but we all come from different backgrounds and social standings, and we each have unique experiences to share. It's only by pulling those together that we can overcome whatever life throws at us. It's worked for us during every one of our field studies. Why wouldn't it work now? Uh... <laughs> he is right, Yusus. Indeed. Reen had to remind me of that, too, you know. Bullseye. It's always nerve-wracking for those of us who have to watch you pull crazy stunts all the time, I hope you know. <laughs> it certainly is. <laughs> I see my suspicions were dead on. No matter the circumstances, you've always been the one to blow away my hesitations. Then you'll come with us? Still, no matter what you say, I am an Alborea, and as such, I have duties and responsibilities to fulfill. If you are determined not to back down, then we will have to settle this with a duel. Really, Yusus? Just as you and Crow did one month ago. A duel? Follow me, Reen. Our destination is Aurox Canyon. Oh my. There, we shall settle this matter once and for all. Really? Really? And who have we here? A new person. Well, well. I wasn't counting on this. I'd only intended to gather information on the Crimson Wings. And yet here I am, bearing witness to such a compelling scene. I've no duty to report anything I see to Duke Alborea. But I suppose there isn't any harm in watching how things unfold. Who is this? Hmm. <laughs> Whatever. Mm. Do what you want. I don't care. I'll just go kill time in town or something. <laughs> oh no, not this time. You're coming with me and that's that. <laughs> I'm here to support you, not babysit you. You're the one with a number, not me. Try acting like it. Fine, fine. <sighs> what a pain. There's a familiar face among them, so this might not be a total waste of time. Oh boy. No Sharon. Since he 